Okay. What is up guys? If you saw the small trailer, video, whatever you want to call it, um, I flew the Mavic 3 Pro in extreme severe condition and I never had any problems or anything like super extreme, like extreme cold. Uh, but definitely was yesterday, it was almost minus 32 and uh, we were in the car for a long time, I forgot this was the first this is the first mistake that I will tell you um, to wrap my battery in in some kind of a towel of a scarf to keep them warm so when it's really cold when you go outside and I have like about five minutes to put the drone out put the battery and keep it like make it warm like you need to let the drone spin a couple of minutes um, so the first mistake that I did it was yesterday but I knew it since before it's wrap your drone in uh, the battery of the drone in a towel keep them in your backpack keep them warm like very warm because at minus 30 it's freaking cold and know your specific shots that you want to do because you're not gonna have enough time to think oh I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that you don't have that kind of time when you're that cold your mind it's not going to uh, think properly you just want to do things fast and when you're gonna sit down in your hotel or wherever you are like man I should have done this but the thing is in those severe extreme condition you're not gonna think too straight when you're super cold that I mean that was my experience so the second thing is also keep your drone remote your, the remote controller also warm uh, because it's gonna get laggy it's, the screen is gonna get super laggy and it's not gonna be a nice experience like you will think the drone is not recording properly but it actually does I had this the first time um, I forgot my my battery were wrapped in the towel uh, in the scarf but my drone remote was not so when I put it on everything was fine the drone was in the air after a couple of minutes of making it warm but then it actually the remote was lagging so like what the hell and thinking like yeah also the remote has a battery inside so the battery was so cold that the screen was a bit was laggy like the frame rate was not correct uh, but after getting warm after a couple of minutes it was okay um, the third thing that I was going to say is make sure you delete all your footage the memory card is empty that you don't need to remove the car from the drone or how oh, it's full I mean this has happened in any kind of scenario but the thing is which is mostly annoying you are cold and you just want to get the shot and put the drone back in your backpack and move on uh, but you forgot to remove or put a SD card or remove the footage to have the card ready to record and you're like shit because that happened to me I didn't do that the, last, the night before and sadly when I put the drone in the air I only had 35 seconds to record and I was so pissed because uh, I need to land I need to put another SD card or I need to delete the footage and you call like minus 27 it's pretty cold uh, but luckily the Mavic 3 Pro also has 7 gigabyte of internal storage so I used that instead of going to delete footage or change the memory card and yeah the last thing is just make sure you keep everything warm especially yourself like the, your hands uh, I have photography gloves but yesterday at minus 30 they they would just they wouldn't work it was not warm enough I have other gloves but I cannot control the stick of the drone so you need to have comfortable gloves but at those extreme conditions it was pretty hard to control the drone so I wanted to have like the drone in the air do my shot go back and it was it was severe uh, <coughs> but yeah so the Mavic 3 Pro is an amazing drone can complain again yesterday I did got a signal when I put the battery inside the drone because I forgot to put the battery in, in a towel they were in my backpack but that was not enough um, so I forgot when I put the drone outside switch it on I was gonna make it warm up for a few couple of minutes and he already told me battery uh, battery temperature too low so I'm like what the hell I put the drone spinning and after a couple of minutes the message was off 
I was in the car yesterday, so it's still good. I could go back in the car, keep the drone outside, spinning for a couple of minutes to get warm, and then I flew. But if you are just hiking and it's super cold, you don't have a place to stay in to make the drone warm up while you also stay warm, uh, you're just gonna freeze yourself and you're not gonna have a nice experience. This is what also happened to me to one hike that we did. Um, we were like, like two hours and minus 25, I think. Uh, it was even three hours, perhaps. I couldn't fly the drone out there. I was too cold. My brain was like, I'm not gonna have it. Uh, it was a beautiful location. I got a few camera shots, uh, but it was my mind was not thinking straight to say, man, I need to get a shot here. At minus 25, minus. <laughs> Um, it's not a nice experience, but the shots are beautiful. Whatever I got, it's super crazy. I, I showed you a few clips there and there, but I will work on something really nice. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share to your friend that also have a drone. Again, keep your battery warm, keep your remote warm, keep yourself warm, and try to plan your shot ahead before you just waste time in the cold so you don't freeze to death. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>